First place was up for grabs in the Ohio Cardinal Conference tonight over at Worcester's. The Generals looking to pull a mini upset, I would say, over Ashland. And for all of you Arrows fans out there that don't really like the gentleman to my right, <laughs> this here is Andy Jardy. You were the Ashland curse last year. They were 0-5 in true. games that you were 0 at. 0-5 in games I was at last year. And this year, earlier this season, I was supposed to cover them. I came down with the flu that week I was supposed hmm. to go there. I'm not convinced that there wasn't some sort of voodoo curse put on me uh, from last year. But... Tonight, I thought for sure, I was like, it can't happen again. They're, they can't go 0-6. Could it? It could. Let's take a look at the highlights. This game was crazy. We'll start things off. First quarter, Ashland at their best when they could get out and run. Isaac White hits the three. Not an Ashland highlight unless he is involved. Then it's the sophomore. Here they are again in transition. Grant Denbo, the sophomore, in the corner in front of the hostile student section. He gets the three to go. Arrows up one after one from number one. Second quarter, though, Worcester would go on a run. Kevin Schilling, he hits the triple. And then Cameron Doherty, a man among boys down low, he muscles for the bucket to cap a 7-0 Generals run. A few minutes later, it's Doherty. Again, dunk alert, the peanut butter Woo! and jam. He gets it. Worcester with a two-point lead at the half. We're going to jump to the fourth quarter now. Worcester's up four. Isaac White, he gets his pocket pick by Nick Coons, who dishes it to Drew Wharton dunk for it. the easy deuce. Not quite a dunk, unfortunately, there. Later on in the fourth, Generals avoid the trap, and somehow Colt Morgan gets it, and he contorts his body. He wow. gets it to go. Worcester up seven with just over two to play. Surely it's over, right? Not so fast. Brett Vipperman, he attacks the bucket there, gets the ball to go through the net. That's what you got to do in this game. Uh, arrows down three now with a minute and a half to go. Loose ball, white to Trey Smith. It's a one-point deficit for Ashland. They need a couple more stops, and on the next possession, that's exactly, Brian, what they're going to do. Look at this defense here, the help defense. Turnover, it goes into White's hands. He Get gives out. it back up to Smith, who almost loses it, but gets <laughs> it to go. They're fired up. They go up by one. They hit some free throws down the stretch, and they win 58-53, closing it out on a 12-0 run. And all the demons of my Ashland curse have been exercised. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Unbelievable game. What was it like for you actually watching an Ashland victory? Obviously, you never done it. <laughs> It was strange, uh, but they, God, they were hungry for this win tonight. And they really, uh, the way Vipperman played in the second half to me really stood out. He started to attack. Uh, he finished with, I think, just nine points, but he had eight of them in the second half. He definitely, uh, he played hard. They all played hard. It was, a, it was nice to finally see them win. I saw a lot of games like that last year where they were on the losing end of one of those runs. And uh, this time they flipped it around. It was uh, strange to see. Um, as far as the Arrows are concerned, they have the best record as far as our big schools are concerned in this area. You've got to see quite a nice collection of them. Do you think they're the best team in the area that you've seen? I think so, too. And now with this being my first time seeing this year, they're bigger than they were last year. They did bulk up. They, they bulked up, myself. yeah. Isaac White looked a lot bigger. A uh, couple of the other guys around the team, they looked like they hit the weight room this offseason. Uh, they're good. I, I really like their, the way that they play. I like the, the balance that team has and the way that Isaac White can carry them and Brett Vipperman and also Trey Smith, another guy. I like this team a lot. Real quickly, you think Worcester bounces back and becomes a factor at the end of the season in the league? I think so. I think they can bounce back. This, this is a game they're going to look at it and they're going to kick themselves because they had it. They were up seven with just over two minutes to go. They got a little comfortable, I think, with that lead stopped attacking. Uh, and I think they got kind of wild by what Ashland did. All right. Well, seeing so you know all those arrows with, with those muscles, I mean, me and Andy are going to go hit the gym now. So, uh, <laughs> you know it. Thanks for watching. Let's go get the protein, Ma. So long.